Hi everyone and welcome to Sintida's YouTube channel. My name is Nick Pavlov and in this video we will continue learning about Microsoft Fabric and its features. Today we will look at the feature called Shortcuts in OneLake and how they can be helpful in our daily work. In data analytics, we often find ourselves navigating through different sets of data scattered across various departments and systems across an organization. This problem is very common and known as data silos. And often, the larger the company is, the more data silos there could be. Imagine a large enterprise where the marketing team has their own data sets, a sales team has their own separate data, and so does the HR. And now, suppose the finance team needs to analyze all of these data from different silos and come up with a budget and planning report, all right? you probably do not want to be part of that finance team. At the very least, there will be a lot of confusion, late evening work, and probably even some weekends. So now we understand how these data silos create issues. In simple words, they make it hard for companies to have the complete and updated information. To avoid the silo issues, some companies try to put all the data in one big place called data lake. A data lake is essentially a vast storage where you can put all kinds of different data from different sources. This sounds like a good idea, and for some companies, this method works. You can definitely use some good data management and storage practices and turn a data lake into a single data storage unit and avoid data silos. However, companies often end up with a data swamp instead of a lake. With the influx of diverse files, big data, different sources, and multiple departments working and hoarding their data in one place, what was supposed to be a pristine lake becomes a data swamp. And I'm sure some of you had to deal with that in the past. So as a result of a data lake getting muddled and very hard to work with, departments will start reverting back to their silos because at least their data is not getting lost in the swamp and they know exactly where their daily work files are located. So recognizing these problems, Microsoft introduced a new feature called Shortcuts in Fabric. The idea of Shortcuts is that instead of battling the formation of data silos directly, Fabric simplifies the way people can access and use their data across different places. Essentially, Shortcuts are pointers to data stored elsewhere. A shortcut does not create new data, it does not move data or copy it. Instead, users can make a shortcut that will link directly to the data they want to access and use. Once this shortcut is created, the data appears in their lake house instantly, as if it was stored there naturally. All right, so enough talking about this. Let's go to my computer screen and see how all of this works. All right, so here I am in my Microsoft Fabric workspace. And for this exercise, consider a real life situation. You were asked to help a marketing team to analyze product sales. Does not have to be marketing, but in my last job, I did that for marketing, so I'm going to use that example. So most likely, they would ask you to send them the latest Excel file so they can analyze and work with that. So you would go to a warehouse, grab whatever tables they need, import that data to Excel, and then send that to them. And then the next week, you are going to do the same thing. And soon, you will end up with a bunch of Excel files being shared, and nobody knows which one is the latest one, and so on. We want to avoid this kind of situation using Microsoft Fabric shortcuts. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a separate lake house for a marketing team. That will be their workspace from where they can work and do their analysis. So I'm going to go to New, and then I can go to More Options, and then choose Lake House. And I'm going to call this Demo Marketing Lake House. And keep in mind that this Lake House can be created in their own workspace as long as they have uh, signed up for Microsoft Fabric. So then when the new Lake House is deployed, I'm going to go to Get Data. And here I'm going to choose New Shortcut. And in the shortcut selection window, you can currently create a shortcut from an internal sources or external sources, which includes the Amazon storage system. I don't have a sample Amazon storage, so therefore to keep this exercise simple and short, I will show you how to create shortcuts from internal sources. 
at the end of the day, creating a shortcut is nothing complicated and it has the same steps when creating shortcuts from both internal and external sources. So I'm going to go ahead and choose one lake. And in this next window, I need to choose where my shortcut is going to point. For this example, I am going to use my demo warehouse, which I built in the previous video. So I'm going to choose that sample warehouse and click on it and then do next. And then from here, I will have access to all of the tables that are present in my warehouse. For this example, I am going to grab two tables, right? I'm going to create a shortcut for product and sales. So I'm going to choose a product and then click create. And this is going to create a shortcut to the product table that actually lives in my warehouse. And you can see that this shortcut uh, to the product table has this little chain icon on the upper left side of um, on the table, right? The icon that it is a shortcut. It's chained to another table, I guess. Here's my one table. And then I'm going to create another shortcut. I'll, I'll go to get data and then click new shortcut. Choose one lake. Choose my warehouse. Click next. Go to tables. Go to DBO1. And then I will choose the sales table. Then I'll create a shortcut. So this will create the second shortcut. Of course, I can connect to as many warehouses or lake houses I want. So I can create shortcuts to uh, many different places, right? And all of them will be here. But for the sake of this example, I'm just going to use two tables. Once your tables are in your lake house, right? Sorry, not tables, shortcuts, right? You see, I still have that old thinking where I think that it's the copy of the data or the data somehow has been duplicated. It has not been. This is a shortcut. This is not a copy of your data. It is a direct pointer to the original data warehouse. And this data actually does not live in this lake house. All right. This is a shortcut. So what I will do now, then I will go to the top right corner of my screen and then choose SQL endpoint. And that's going to bring me to the SQL endpoint view, right? And once this is loaded, what I will do is I will go to the modeling section here. And I will create a relationship between these two tables. So I'll grab the SKU and then connect it with the product SKU. And think about this. Uh, your marketing team can do that, right? They can create a shortcut to your warehouse and get the shortcuts of those original tables from your warehouse in their own lake house and build relationships between whatever tables they are interested in. And then they can build whatever measures they want to build, right? So I can create new measure and then go ahead and create sales amount measure, which is going to be a sum X formula of my sales table. And there I have a price column multiplied by quantity column, right? That's it. A measure will be created right here. Well, I can move it to the other table if I wanted to, but this is beside the point. And then I will click new report. And this is going to open Power BI desktop in the cloud with the direct lake connection. Remember we talked about the direct lake. Uh, so this will be their own report, their own data for your marketing team in this example, right? So they can go ahead and create a bar chart and uh, they can come up here and, for example, start building, analyzing their own data. So that was um, right here. I had sales amount and product name or brand rather, probably. And here is the data. Right. Obviously, this is a sample data, so that's why. Um, let me actually do packaging. That might be better. Sorry, product name. And now your marketing folks can see that you have um, this many, you know, product sales by brand or whatever they need to know. So then they can save this report. They can export this to Excel, and then they can start building, you know, PowerPoint presentations or whatever they need to. I am not going to save this file. All right. So once I'm back in my lake house view here, let's quickly sum up our video. We talked about shortcuts and fabric, which are pointers that allow users to access data without moving or copying it. So in this example, I created a shortcut to the product and to the sales tables. 
which originally live in my warehouse. So this eliminates the need to manage multiple copies and reduces redundancy. Once a shortcut is created, data appears in the lake house immediately as we just saw. And this minimizes data movement and pipeline orchestration, thereby reducing potential errors. Everything is now stored in one place and then you can build a shortcut to access those files. That's it for today. Thank you for your time and attention. I hope you liked this video. Please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will talk to you later.